A West Jordan police officer remains in the hospital this evening after being shot by a suspect who was then killed by police. It happened near 2400 West, 7700 South last night. Several neighbors witnessed the killing and spoke to Fox 13's Haley Higgins today. Haley. Yeah, it was an extremely dangerous situation here. I want to show you this vinyl fence is riddled with bullet holes. We were able to uncover surveillance video, and I want to warn you, though, that it is disturbing. Security video shows a broad view of the shootout with West Jordan officers. The man appears to point something at officers, then falls back while shots are heard firing. He tries to jump a fence before stumbling up on the lawn. All the cops ran up and they shot him. Darlene Ayudin saw the whole thing from her window. He just heard boom, 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 boom. West Jordan police say officers tried to stop a stolen vehicle. Ayudin says she saw a man get out with his hands up, but then punched an officer when he approached. The officer moved back and then started, the, the kids started shooting, the officers started shooting. All I heard was pop, 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 and I just thought it was fireworks going off. Police say the officer was shot in the upper shoulder. Ayudin says she saw the injured officer get dragged away during the gunfight. Sad because he is so young. It actually irritates me that someone would want to do that, to try to take someone else's life that just wants to go home at the end of the day to, to their family. Other neighbors tell Fox 13 officers were, quote, trigger happy and should not have killed the man. Now tonight, police have not identified the individual that was shot and killed by police yesterday. We do know that the man, the officer who is in the hospital, he is expected to be okay. Reporting live in West Jordan, Haley Higgins, Fox 13 News, Utah.